Let me get this straight. The DAB sensor needs a story at around 5 degrees centigrade? Yes. It must be refrigerated. Otherwise, it's unsafe. Sorry, but I disagree. Our storage team say there's no problem storing it at room temperature. As I explained, Matteo, it's a question of safety. The product must be refrigerated. If we store it at room temperature, we can no longer guarantee that it will be safe. Beata, I like you. You're good at what you do. I just don't think you quite understand. Regulations are different here in Brazil. I can assure you... You don't need to worry about all those EU rules. We have our own safety regulations and we are very strict about them. We can store this product, no problem. Yes, but unfortunately... We are under a lot of pressure. Some of us more than most, perhaps. Please. If I could just finish my point. The plan is to launch the DIAB sensor as soon as possible. My team has received all the necessary training. Look, I can assure you, we are all excited about this new product. It's going to change lives. And I can assure you, the product needs to be refrigerated. I want you to understand, Matteo. This is a question of patient safety. And, as I said earlier, I disagree. Storage is not a problem. We have the capacity, the staffing, everything is in place. No cause for concern. I understand that this is difficult for you. And you've already done so much to help promote the product. But my position is clear. We can't go ahead with the delivery unless the necessary storage measures are in place. Fine. Let's see what Daniel has to say, shall we? I have no doubt that Daniel will say the same thing. I'm sure we want the same outcome, Matteo. But either you find a compromise or I can't approve the delivery. You're being difficult, Beata. I don't like it. To be frank, I'm not sure I can work with you. Okay, I'm going to speak to Daniel. You've left me no other choice. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm not comfortable agreeing to the delivery without the correct storage measures in place. And if you want to speak to Daniel, fine. I'll ask him to call you. Alô. Pode falar. Não, não. Depois eu ligo. Well, he's not happy, and neither am I. Still, what can I do? We can't compromise on safety. And I know for a fact, Daniel is going to say the same thing. I just hope he's not annoyed with the way I handled this.